Back now to the story we brought you at the top of the hour. The man charged in yesterday's security breach at Hartsville Jackson appeared in court this morning, and there was a little drama. 22-year-old Adonis Andrews was ordered out of the courtroom by the judge at one point during the hearing because he would not sit still. And today, Atlanta City Council members are talking about the latest security breach. Fox 5's Morse Diggs joins us from Atlanta City Hall with more. Morse. <clears throat> We do have some exclusive information. We're following airport security on two tracks, as you said, here at Atlanta City Hall and then also down in Clayton County where this appearance was made. And I can tell you that the suspect, his behavior was erratic. Now, the authorities, deputies had to uh, restrain Edonis Andrews, who at one point refused to obey court rules. He heard a judge read the charge against him, criminal trespass. Airport authorities say he went over a fence and was found just walking on an internal roadway. He smelled of alcohol, according to the authorities. At Atlanta City Hall, council members want to know about security at the airport. They heard him, the general manager, Mr. B, they call him, talk about two airport incidents since late June. My colleagues around the, the nation is talking about this. And Atlanta is not unique to this here. Just in the last week and a half, two weeks, there are three additional airports in the United States that have been, um, uh, fence jumpers. So what we're looking at, we're looking at three different ways of how to protect the integrity of the secure side of the airport. We're looking at structural integrity, we're looking at people and technology, leveraging technology. That's ballroom Biodari. Now, on two of these things, they're going to be able to implement those sooner than the last one, technology. First, let's talk about structural. They're going to uh, change up the structure there in terms of what the manpower has to do, give them a lower area, a shorter area to cover. They're going to increase people, and they're looking at technology. They're looking at sensors. But let me tell you about the problem with sensors. He said that if we spend $100 million on sensors and we have a bunch of false alarms from an animal or from the wind, that would be problematic. But coming up later on, we're going to have much more with exclusive information. The general manager is here. He is briefing city council members on the specific incidents and what he's going to do to make the airport perimeter some 30 miles safer. Reporting live from downtown Atlanta, I'm Morse Diggs, Fox 5 News. Morse, thank you. Certainly the, not the last we've heard of that. Well,